popular saying by John F. Kennedy that all of us do not have equal talent, but all of us should have an equal opportunity to develop our talent. Good morning and welcome to today's episode of Men Empowerment Program, being organized and sponsored by the Rule of Law and Empowerment Initiative, also known as Partners West Africa Nigeria, P1. I am still your host, Nkem Okereke, with my co-host, Ijoma Igwe. Over the years, it has been known that in certain spheres of life, women have faced gender discrimination in one way or the other. This would lead us to discuss the topic on gender inclusion and equal opportunity. Our guest for today is Miss Sarah Alade Dan Soho, I hope I'm calling it correctly, yes. who is an experienced director with a, with a history of working in the non-profit organization. Right now, she currently works with Women's Rights Advancement and Protection Alternative, popularly known as RAPA. We will go on a short break now and then come back with our guests. Please stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. So we'll continue discussing about who our guest is for today. And she's going to be talking on gender inclusion and equal opportunity. Our guest for today is an associate chartered disaster and safety management patient advocate, UNODC drug prevention, treatment and care trainer. She's a member of Institute of Disaster Management and Safety Science and Women and Girls' Rights Advocate. Please welcome with us today, Ms. Sarah Anlade Dahoso. Good morning, ma. Welcome to oh, the thank show. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah, Good thank morning. you. Happy to be here with you all. It's thank nice you, to finally have you here. <laughs> thank yes, you. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ma, so we'll just ask you the first question we have for today. What does gender inclusion and equal opportunity mean to you? Okay, first of all, I would like us to talk about the issue of gender. A lot of people, when they hear gender, they assume it's just women issues. Mm -hmm. But gender cut across both male and female. Yeah. So uh, gender inclusion is talking about presenting opportunities for both male and female. Yeah. Then equal opportunity is also talking about providing equal opportunity for both male and female yeah. within a society or an organization. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, so what does it about? mean to you, the gender inclusion and equal opportunity? Yeah, it's a good thing because a society whereby we only pay attention to the male uh, gender, the female gender tends to suffer more because uh, we, we, they don't present us with opportunity to explore our talent, our skills, and there is so much more that we have in us. But when the platform is not available, there's no way we can showcase that. And it it's also affects the economy in one way or the other. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. I was going to ask, can you give us an example of a place where the male has a more opportunity to showcase their talent more than the female? Yeah, in like, let's start with uh, our homes, mm -hmm. where we come from. <laughs> there, are, there are things that you do at home, but be because maybe your brother is the male child, mm -hmm. your parents will support him more, and then you, that is the girl child, they, f they, they blame you the more. Mm -hmm. And it's not supposed to be so. Yeah. Treat everyone equally. Yeah. Let everyone understand that we are all human. Mm -hmm. Once we have that understanding that we are human, I think it will it will change our narrative on how we treat the other gender. Mm. So we are all human in the first place. Mm. So there's need for us to treat each other as one. Mm -hmm. There is this popular yeah. thing in my house. 
I am the only daughter, so I'm not supposed to come back after six. But my brothers are free to come back past eight, mm -hmm. past nine, past ten, mm -hmm. because they are boys, mm -hmm. you know. And I wonder, what did I do? Did I do anything wrong for becoming a woman? The only one, no. But then, I, you're right, actually, starting from the home, I think uh, the home is the major place we have this uh, gender inequality. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. to add to the home, as well, they say, oh, the girls are the ones to do the dishes. And the boys are the one just sit down, watch football. Mm. And the girl is doing the thing, or what daddy is reading newspaper. That's like the idea most kids have. Mm, oh, yeah. why is mommy? Mommy's in the kitchen. Why is daddy? Daddy is watching football or he's reading know. newspaper. So they try to, you know, put this inequality or differences to say this is for the female yeah. and this is for the male. So I like the fact that you picked the home because that's where actually this it starts, starts from. from. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we know that this is this. Do you, can you elaborate on what the root cause of? this what is the root cause of this gender inequality what do you think is your root cause of it okay for me just like i've said the root cause is family it starts from family mm -hmm. and then religion has its role to play mm -hmm. and then culture also okay. has mm -hmm. its own role to play mm -hmm. the aspect of family we have touched on that mm -hmm. where a child right from childhood they begin to see that gender discrimination. Yes. You don't even need to tell them. They see it and they assume that it is their right to always be or to always do a certain kind of job. Mm -hmm. But for the female child, you are the, it's just like you are the slave in the house. You wash the plate, mm -hmm. you sweep the house, you cook the food, you mm -hmm. serve your brothers. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all of this. And at the end, they will beat you if they want to. <laughs> I understand. So yeah. the truth is that we don't need to even speak out. Yeah. From small, they have already placed that impression yeah. on us. Yeah. So I think for me, family is one of the major root cause mm -hmm. of gender inequality. Then secondly, we look at the religion aspect mm -hmm. where... Uh, that submissiveness, a woman have to be submissive to the man. You know, a lot of people have misunderstood that aspect of mm -hmm. submissiveness. And, you know, it, it's really not, I think we need to discuss, the, our religious leaders need to really talk more on that so that our men will also understand that being submissive doesn't mean enslavement or yeah. you turn the woman to a slave. Yeah. Yeah. So there is so much more that we need to do and we need to know. And in terms of culture, some culture don't allow women to do certain things. Mm -hmm. So those are the three root causes from my own understanding. So there may be more, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So let's deviate a little from the family aspect. Are there other aspects you, you think you want to elaborate when it, talk, when it comes to a call opportunity mm -hmm. or not mm -hmm. having an equal opportunity apart from the family? Mm -hmm. Is there any other aspect of life that you would want to elaborate on? Yeah, the truth is that in a society where uh, the women don't have such opportunity to, to showcase their talent, like even in our workplace, sometimes there are jobs that they will say, this is not for women. Mm -hmm. This particular job is for male. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you bring in a woman, you, you will see that she will even do more. Yeah. So it's not only in family, actually. Mm -hmm. In workplace, we see that. Mm -hmm. And then other in the society at mm -hmm. large. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is so much more, not only family. Yeah, just to chip in, remember the last guest we had about um, the research carried out to find out why people don't like voting for women. Yes. And then the finding was that men are natural leaders. Leaders, yeah. So it's just for them, to, it's good for the men to yeah. just context election and let them so win, but they are natural their leaders. Sense, in their subconscious, women we, shouldn't they shouldn't, Yes, we shouldn't it's even. Just for men. It's men. That mm. is, so the, the research really was like an eye opener, really. So they now find out that, so why won't you vote for women? Mm. Men are naturally leaders, and then women are just there to support the men. Mm. And we can see that playing a lot in the political sphere, where mm. you see more men occupying positions, even positions that are meant for women. You heard I said the last time that I think the women, women leader also was a man represented. I'm like, how? how? Mm. You get so it's, it's even in it's, our school then, you know, SUG. 
president, it mm -hmm. has to be a man. A man. Vice president, it has to be a woman. And mm -hmm. I'm like, why can't it be the other way around? Why can't mm -hmm. SH president be a woman and the vice president, president be a man? man. Like, no. It is not, they're not contending it. A mm -hmm. woman cannot come out for SUG president. Mm -hmm. If you must come out, you're coming That's out for as SUG vice president. Right. Being why it's possible, you can actually do better as the president, the president more president. than being just a vice that is assisting. Mm -hmm. So trying to translate the fact that women should just be there to support to the support main leader, them. that and is the man. So I think uh, that is a very wonderful point you mm -hmm. have made so far. Yeah. And our viewers, if you have anything you want to add to what we are discussing now, feel mm -hmm. free to put it Enjoy. in the comment section. But right now, we'll go on a short break and then come back and continue with this wonderful discussion on gender inclusion and equal opportunities. Stay tuned. back from the break and I hope you're enjoying this discussion with us as we are here. But let's just go to the next question. Okay. We want to find out from you. How is gender inequality a hindrance to women empowerment? Okay, there's a research that shows that um, man, uh, when a woman is empowered, about 90% of her salary, she invests it back on her, in her home, mm -hmm. in her family, which involves the children okay. and it goes to their education mm -hmm. and their health mm -hmm. and their well-being and this is not only affecting the children alone you are affecting the society so empowering a woman is empowering a society at large mm -hmm. so women empowerment is something that should be encouraged in our society mm -hmm. in our place of work mm -hmm. and in our community there's need to empower women because they, are, they, they have this caring attitude. And any, any country that values women and puts them in front, you tend to see that they do well, they improve the economy of that country mm -hmm. and the well-being of the citizens. Mm -hmm. So there is need to look at women empowerment as a key, um, very key, important uh, like an agenda. thing to do, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, we use example with the German, the former German uh, minister, Merkel, you know, mm -hmm. she, they were part of the, there was like a research that showed that the, the countries where women were leading handled the COVID-19 situation yeah. better mm -hmm. than where the men were. So yeah. uh, just to add to, to what you said, women empowerment, is it's, it's, it's something that should be done. So you're saying in essence that if, there is no equal opportunity mm -hmm. for male and female, it might affect the empowerment yeah. of women. And if it affects the empowerment of women, the empowerment of society is Can so, so much affected. Yeah. affected. Yeah. Okay. I was okay. trying to understand more what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So I was okay. going to ask you again, how do you think this gender inequality can be addressed? Yeah, the truth is that we have been advocating for this for some time now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to some extent, we are seeing results. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Having some women in some political spaces, mm -hmm. and not just been putting them there, they too are bringing others mm -hmm. on board. So we will keep advocating. We will keep talking about it until we see the change that we want mm -hmm. to see in the society yeah okay. yeah okay so what do you think here yeah, you said something like you've been advocating what what do you exactly advocate for when you come to me and tell me you want gender what do you want do you understand how do you want it to be addressed what do you want me to do to address gender inequality mm. okay uh for me 
I I think there's need for us to understand the different the difference between gender uh, equality and um, gender mainstreaming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that even if you don't get it all, mm -hmm. at least let's just have. Uh, both gender mm -hmm. involved mm -hmm. okay. and then for us again as female I think we need to also go back to our drawing board mm -hmm. we need to go back and empower ourselves improving our skills so that when we have that opportunity we'll be able so to sure. display what we have in us mm -hmm. yeah. because a lot of people are really not serious about their career Yes. That is so-called so called, so called slay mama. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is need for us to understand that principle of being ready. Are you ready mm -hmm. to take that opportunity? Yeah. The opportunity may not display itself now, yeah. but keep improving on yourself, your skills. Mm -hmm. Opportunity will showcase, yeah. and then you'll be able to display what you have. And opportunity, you just take over, and you don't even need to shout too much. Mm -hmm. Even the men within the environment, they will see you, and they will see your capacity. We have he for she's mm -hmm. in in our society right now. We mm -hmm. have he for she's. We have male champions. Yeah. They will see you, and some people yeah. they will even sponsor you in yeah. anything you want to do. So for me, I will advise we, the women to improve on ourselves, we should know what we want and go for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter if we don't get it there and then. Mm -hmm. Keep trying, keep advocating. Mm -hmm. That is where the advocacy comes in. Keep mm -hmm. advocating. Opportunity will come and you will take on it and you will just see yourself doing exploit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So you were saying that in your advocacy, you try to encourage for gender mainstreaming. Yeah. So, you said also that people need to understand what it is, meaning that they need to be sensitized mm -hmm. on what gender mainstreaming is. Yeah. Yeah. And they need to relearn what gender equality means, not that a woman is automatically a man mm -hmm. and a yeah. woman is automatically a woman. Yeah. You know, sometimes people, when people hear gender equality, how can she be the same it's as me? About women. You know, it's all about women and yeah. us men. Like people said earlier, our reward is in heaven, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So they should understand what gender equality is in mm -hmm. the real sense. Yeah. And understand what gender mainstreaming is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that is what I'm going to take from <laughs> what yes, So let me add to what she said about the question on how gender inequality gathers. Yeah. Um, looking at the UNSCR 1325, don't mm -hmm. you think when it is implemented, effectively implemented, let's use that word, would have more of more women, or would have gender women being mainstreamed into areas that we think there is inequality? So like the security sector, now we have them having their gender decks, yeah. trying to having gender policy. Yes, yeah. having gender policy, trying to incorporate women in this area that they feel women shouldn't even be there yeah. and then we talked about i don't know if it was last week we talked about where well, um the not too not too young to run well okay. we also have young men majorly now but also trying to see how young women, women. Mm -hmm. can also participate in this and so i just wanted to add to what you said that gender inequalities can also be addressed if policies if if policies are well implemented in countries especially mm -hmm. like countries like ours and then they see the need for more participation of women in in, in strategic Position. positions that yeah. might also help us to have less gender inequality just to add to and then yeah. again so one of our guests in the previous times in the previous episodes she says something like what to take a man flip of the finger to get mm -hmm. it might take a woman harder than that yeah. it means that we need to have this extra push mm -hmm. we need to work extra hard if we want to get to that place if we want to be trusted mm -hmm. if yeah. they say oh, let's try her let's see what and we need to it. do well better than you know uh, just to try and do our best to mm -hmm. make sure that Okay. Yeah, on top of yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Top of the game. Yeah. That's actually okay. That means she's actually doing well. That's mm -hmm. the reason you are there. Mm -hmm. So you don't come there like 
empty. I'm just here. Yeah. 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 So it boils down to what you were to saying earlier. Yeah. Yeah. To say some people don't want to take their career seriously. Mm -hmm. Some people don't care. Some people, so our viewers that are listening, empowerment comes with us pushing us trying to place ourselves strategically, mm -hmm. trying to get more for ourselves, trying to improve on our skills. It can be reading, it can be writing, it can be speaking, it can be anything, anything you feel you are good at. It will help you have a better opportunity so that when you even have that opportunity, you will be able to explore it and do all with it. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are going to conclude on for now and mm -hmm. we will also want you to feel free to put down topics you would want us to treat on this platform on women empowerment you will meet us again next week friday as we discuss another interesting episode thank you very much and see you next week bye <laughs>